talk to you about a problem that many students I've worked with have talked to me about. The fact that teachers are always telling students to sit still, stop moving, stop tapping your foot, stop tapping your pencil, stop doing all of these things that disrupt the class. Wouldn't it be great if we could find a way for students to move around, but teachers to still have a non-disrupted class, and all of the students still be able to stay on task while moving and being comfortable with their learning environment? I thought so, so I came up with the idea for the flux chair. It takes a lot of technology that's already available today and different things and puts it together to create a chair that would help many students of all of different learning styles. In its most basic form, it's just a chair. It would have a base like this so that it could wobble around, and if a student were to sit on it, they could wobble in all directions and wouldn't fall down like they would with a classic chair. It would also have a base mat, which would be hard enough that the chair could slide around quietly on it and students could quietly tap their feet but it would be squishy underneath so they could squish their feet into it if they wanted to for an added sensory stimulation or even just quiet foot tapping if that's what helps them learn. The next part I would want to talk about is the back of the chair. In my beautiful drawing here you can see that the back of the chair that would usually sit like this just falls right down and it becomes a kneeling chair. It's got a fold-out support right here that holds it sturdy so the students can still kneel on it and aren't going to be worried about the chair breaking or them falling off. And it's even still got the wobble base that would let them wobble a reasonable amount while still kneeling. This would be really beneficial for students who don't just like sitting in a chair all day. Maybe they can sit for an hour and kneel for an hour and it's more comfortable for them. The seat and the backrest have padding on it so that if a student did choose to kneel on it, it would be comfortable and even makes the sitting chair more comfortable. After this, I want to talk about the standing support. This is very similar to the kneeling one, except instead of having this part fall back, it stays up and the part that you usually sit on just falls right down. This then becomes something that students could just lean back against if they wanted to use a standing desk which is becoming increasingly popular in schools because it allows students to have a little bit of movement while still staying focused and doing their work. So all of these things together are fairly simple but it could help a lot of students and I call it the flux chair.